Whoever this dude in the pickup is with the cameraman is going way too slow. All right, here we go, full on. So, here we are, my first ride on the Vitfillin 701 Husqvarna 2020. All right, so already uh, it's super, super light. I feel like I'm on a mini bike. I've been lusting after this bike since they announced it or since they showed just the images of it, of its design, of the prototype. And uh, I was like, yes, that's a bike I would have. For those of you who don't know, my more often than not daily rider is a uh, 2016 KTM Enduro 690, which is ostensibly the exact same power plant, which is a great motor. It's my favorite bike. I mean, it's an off-road bike with knobby tires. I'm riding it around town. It's got ABS and drive-by wire. It's just super, super fun. So I did a little bit of research about this before I got on it, and I've already figured out this has some significant upgrades over that KTM. Watch this. No clutch needed. It's rev matching, downshift and upshift, which is more like my BMW S1000RR. It's a super high-end premium thing to have, in my opinion, uh, for a tiny little bike. Like, this is almost considered a starter bike for some. I wouldn't say it's a starter bike by any stretch of the means. 71 horsepower, 52 foot-pounds of torque, and a dry weight of, I think, even wet. It's like 360, but 350, 350 pounds? Dude, that's a... Uh, super light territory with 71 horsepower and 52 foot-pounds of torque that's keeping up with you know gp bikes in the 80s this is not a slow motorcycle it's got adjustable suspension uh, front and rear we haven't set anything up all i did was take the stickers off remove the reflectors because the fork reflectors are so ugly and uh i threw on some bar end mirrors uh, Jeff Berry did this for me. I'm not even sure what style these are, but we sell them on our website. I know we are. Uh, I can already tell this is going to be my go-to daily rider from now on because although the Enduro is my favorite uh, by far, this is going to be even more fun. Wow. I promptly left the camera car behind because <laughs> this thing is great. I just have a strange feeling there's no way I can properly review this bike following a slow camera car. I'm going to need a little more space. Definitely going to change the turn signals. It's going to change the exhaust because this thing is quiet. It sounds like a sewing machine. Uh, it's got the heart of a lion and the sound of a mouse. But uh, the plan is to build a full custom exhaust, try to retain some of the factory elegance of this factory exhaust. Do some paint work. I'm actually thinking about stripping it down to the frame because I really like the idea of a powder coated frame. I mean, this trellis frame is so pretty. You can't see it. I mean, look how pretty the frame is. It's so good. Maybe do, um, I hate to say it, and it's already been, it's already been a bit of a fallout from this. I want to, I like pink. I'm a big fan of pink. I think powder coated pink frame some softer hues. I like the flat white on the back of this thing. Uh, but some softer hues as far as the colors are concerned. You know, like bright in your face, but not too much in your face. Like not, not as bright as the Odioso was. There we go. <laughs> that was just a pure power, pure power wheelie in first gear from 3000 RPM. No problem. I mean, as you guys can see, I'm maneuvering through traffic super easily. I'm gonna go top gear. Top gear, 60 miles an hour, smooth as silk, no vibration. 4,000 RPM, not even 4,000 RPM. That means this thing will probably be going 80 and revving 5 to 5,500, which it'll do all day long. I have an affinity for the KTMs because I know it's a Husqvarna, but it's a KTM. Is that I rode my KTM all over uh, Europe, 15,000 miles. So my adventure bike, mostly on pavement, I'll admit. Totally ill-suited bike for that chore. And I'm talking a 2000 KTM LC4, uh, the previous 625cc single. That has a lot more vibrations. 
That thing shook me to death. I thought it was going to kill me. But I'd be on the Autobahn to Germany going 95 miles an hour on my dirt bike, just hunkered down with fucking huge panniers and a giant dry sack on top. <laughs> totally ill-suited for that trip, but it held up. It did the trip. I love the rev matching. I mean, that's just not a, that's not a feature you expect to get in a small motorcycle. It's going to be easier on the gearbox, which means it's going to last longer. Uh, it's got a slipper clutch as well, but I mean, really, how does that work? If you've got a slipper clutch and you've got rev matching, you don't even need the slipper clutch as much because it's going to automatically rev up when you're downshifting and pull the revs up so that you don't get all that uh, torque coming through the rear wheel, slowing you down. All right, so that was a short ride. We'll do some better wheelies later. I mean, there's cops everywhere, right? Maybe I'll pull. I'll rip a little wheelie here in a minute. I'm just gonna go. I mean, it should just. It's just so easy and nothing to it. Wheelie right into the back of the pickup truck. That'd be great. All right, guys. 701 Husky Vit Pillin might be my new favorite motorcycle. I think it is. Stay tuned for more. Now's the time of video where most people ask for money or donations or whatever. I'm not gonna ask you for that. What I'm gonna say to you is, if you wanna see more videos and you wanna learn more of what we've learned, and you wanna see a deep dive into a lot of these topics, go to our website and buy something. We sell everything from motorcycle gear, helmets, uh, motorcycle parts, specialized tools. We sell lots of things and they've all taken us years to figure out what the best stuff is and we figured it out. So go to revivalcycles.com. There's some really good stuff there. Everything from like kick-ass hand grips from Posh to Radiance LED lighting and everything in between. We want to teach you what we know, but this stuff takes time and it takes real effort to make these videos and make them good for you guys. So go support us by helping yourself to the cool stuff you already need. And it helps us because we make a little bit of profit and then we can justify doing more videos. Thanks for your support.